All right, to conclude this iWorks presentation, we're going to go to Keynote, which automatically goes to Landscape. Here, you got your user guide here. Swipe over, got a started presentation. Let's do new presentation. That gives you a variety of templates. As you can see here, always a brand ingredient for some reason. Select that. Double tap to edit. Let's add a new slide. From that, you can see that you can do like blank, text, image, text and image, title. Select that. See what the options allow us to do here. Let me see if we can get this in focus. Photo albums. Tables. So I want to make this into a table for right there. Very easy to customize, by the way. Start a new slide. Let's go with blank one. Um, press play. This is our slideshow so far. Tap out, done. Let's go to slide two over here. And uh, let's see what else. Add charts. Here you can edit the data for the actual chart. We're not really going to go into it because it's sort of insignificant. New slide. And let's not do that. Let's uh, select shapes. And put that in. Expand it out and toolbox. Check spelling. Other little nice features. Info. And do style, textile, arrangement. Play around with it a little. Let's exit out of this. And open up a new presentation. Um let's go to chalkboard. See what theme styles this offers. I want a title. So for a title, we're going to put and as you see, that got too long. So I'm going to select all setting or information tablet. And then should goes up here. Text options size. Just crank that down. Pull that down, and there we go. Shows up beautifully. And since it's one word, shows up as underlined red because of spelling typo um otherwise pretty basic has that this is what comes with keynote as a powerpoint or powerpoint presentation demonstration telling you a little about it things you can do with it let's exit out Back to this one, and on this slide, let's do Enneagram effects. So you can change the transitions. Go actually to uh, back here, 
gradient presentation we had going here. And do the transition magic move. Yes, why not? Let's put here a flexion. Let's see your PowerPoint now. So you can see you can do that nice little reappear thing. You see in a lot of Apple Keynotes. And from your iPad you can make pretty nice PowerPoint presentation for whatever purpose necessary.